Megafauna like elephants and rhinos are the two heaviest things walking the earth. Find out if you want to, but you might not live long enough to find out twice. But it's actually the third heaviest that might as well be the mascot of F around and find out. The hippopotamus might look like an obese, boneless rhino to play tag with, but believe me, hippos are a problem nobody wants to have. Again, adult. We know on this side, ever since we started watching animal videos, we know on this side, we do not f them hippos. All right, we got some casual geographic. This is from Cub to King, a lion survival guide featuring Tier Zoo. Oh my God. Yeah, a casual geographic and a tier zoo collab. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Let's check this out. Let's check this out. God, is, is she, is Shawty holding a f tiger and carrying it down the street? You hear how this is yelling? Holy cow, Cindy. Oh my gosh. Bruh, this boy, I've seen this video before. Boy, I would have shit it. I know. It's the holidays. It's that time. It's that season. It's the season that gives you a reason. Hands freezing as you put the keys in, then you put the pleas in, and get to please and Mary Fields and us like Jordan Peels and wanna rid the world of evil, free sin, put the hate of the world on leave, no tree okay. things. Yeah, bars. I lost a bet. Hold on, hold on, bars. 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 Oh. Hands freezing as you put the keys in, then you put the pleas in, and get to please and Mary Fields and us like Jordan Peels and wanna rid the world of evil, free sin. Yeah, I lost the bet. I'm sorry y'all had to hear it. It's the season of giving, and who better to give to than the best fortune? Which is why, if you're watching this and have thumbs... I thought hitting... I thought hitting the button again was gonna make it stop. It started over. I'm sorry. <clears throat> ...season of giving, and who better to give to than the less fortunate? Which is why, if you're watching this and have thumbs, this video's not for you. There's only like 20,000 something lions left in the world. For reference, the elephant empire is over 400,000 strong. So this is a comprehensive cub to king guide on how to be a lion for lions, obviously. Little disclaimer though, when I was researching, I found this guy stole my idea by coming up with it and posting it first. Now, but seriously, he's done this exact concept, but with other animals. I actually watched his polar bear video. It's pretty good. Y'all should go check it out. But yeah, here's how to survive the horrifically traumatizing life of a lion. And if you're not a lion, Respectfully get your homo sapien hind parts out of here. It ain't always about you. Your story, like every other, begins at birth. I hope you enjoyed it, because that is the last time you'll ever know peace. This part is strictly luck, pure RNG. As a lion fresh out, you're born both blind and deaf. Stevie w What the fuck? Blind and deaf? Why are these babies born? Helen ca wondering about the world around you. So unlike hyena cubs who are born ready for smoke, you're as helpless as helpless gets. You can't even run until you're a month young. You're so defenseless that your mother has to take maternity leave away from the pride just to give birth. And that's because cubs have a 50% chance of survival in the first year. That Damn. shrinks to about 20% by year two. And in the end, only 12.5% of lion cubs born get to the adult stage, Damn. while the rest become footnotes on a history page. As a cub, there's about a thousand ways to meet Mufasa. Anything from eagles, to wild dogs, to the ops of Lion King can revoke your subscription to existing. Your mother will do her best by alternating hiding spots, but if they catch you while she's out grocery shopping, it's curtains, kid. There's also the chance ah. megafauna like elephants and buffalo decide to invest in their future, by canceling yours. Oh my god. We'll get to them. And obviously disease can be a major roadblock to your pursuit of happiness, but by far the biggest threat to your way of life, other lions. Really? A quarter of lion cubs born get murked by their own kind, and you likely already know the most common example. When a new male takes over a pride, one of the first orders of business is to put any genetic remnant of the past on a t-shirt. Getting a What the hell? A stepfather means getting a step closer to an early grave. And while there's nothing you can do, some lionesses will resort to mating with as many males as physically possible. Having a mom more ran through than a yellow light on a freeway means she can commit paternity fraud. And the more males that think they're the father, the farther you have a chance of going in life. But it's not just the guys you have to worry about. 
Love can be conditional, and lionesses have been known to abandon sick cubs or even a healthy one if it's the last one left in the litter so that she can start over. That's right, you can what? get the death penalty for the crime of being an only child, and having a lot of siblings can be a desentient sentence too. Lionesses can have litters anywhere from 2 to 6, but only have 4 teats. I think you can see the problem here. Now if you're lucky, you're born into a pride where the females sync their reproductive cycles like Bluetooth, meaning you can suckle whatever auntie or cousin's closest to you. Big pause on that. If you're not lucky, either lay down the law with your siblings, or starve. So even though you'll Jesus need the- Jesus Christ! That is... That's fucked! Race of RNGesus to see your first birthday, I do have some tips for you. Play as much as you can, and get good at it. Rest assured, everything you learn while playing will 100% come back later in life. Stay close to your mom. You're basically gonna wanna be her shadow, especially once she reintegrates back into the pride after a couple months. The other females might tolerate you, but the young teenagers play rough and can seriously rock your shit if your mom's not watching. Speaking of which, if you can survive all that for the first nine months or so, congrats, you've officially made it to the awkward teen phase. Or as I like to call it, the fuck around and find out phase. Because that's essentially all you're gonna be doing. This is the phase where you're gonna feel tempted to explore the world. So here's some tips so curiosity doesn't add you to its body count. That nigga this got stuck. It might look like nature's massage ball, but the porcupine has about 30,000 ways it can discipline the youth. Adults are usually smart enough not to bother, but it's often the cubs not minding their business that get wounded. Those quills have sharp barbs that expand and push deeper into the skin until they eventually hit something important. It's a high Jesus. risk, low reward situation, not even worth it. Testing a black mamba is worth even less, even though this- Wait, what did that say? This low reward situation, not even worth it. Testing a black mamba is worth even less. Even though the snakes naturally shy and would rather run away than run a fade, they can and Fun fact, what it's worth I even think? less. Even though the snakes naturally shy and would rather run away than run Fun fact, a black mamba can reach 12 miles per hour in short bursts. Wow. Run a fade, they can and will strike, and there'll be one less lion in the world if that happens. Jeez. Megafauna like elephants and rhinos are the two heaviest things walking the earth. Find out if you want to, but you might not live long enough to find out twice. But it's actually the third heaviest that might as well be the mascot of F around and find out. The hippopotamus might look like an obese, boneless rhino to play tag with, but believe me, hippos are a problem nobody wants to have. Hell no. Again, adult. We know on this side, ever since we started watching animal videos, we know on this side, we do not fuck with them hippos. It's normally no better than to press a fully grown homicidal war pig, but you'll often see a lot of your older, more experienced siblings test them. That is effing around, and this is what it looks like to find out. But pro tip, hippos spend all night eating and all day in the water. So you're gonna want to avoid the riverbanks around dawn, since that's when the assault horse comes home. But as a cub, if there's one animal you want to social distance from, it's definitely this one right here. Because not only do buffalo travel in herds of hundreds, they actively seek revenge, and you might not have done anything to them. But this bull happens to have generational beef in your blood. Damn! Black death will trample you into a chalk outline if they get the chance, and you can end up getting treated. He running sideways trying to avoid line. that shit. Black death will look, trample you into a. You look like oh fuck. <laughs> chalk outline oh, fuck, if they get the fuck, chance, fuck. and you can Wait. end up getting. <laughs> that nigga is trying his damnest not to get fucking cooked treed for hours by the whole herd, especially since they'll actively seek out lion cubs just like you to snuff. You can spend the block later, but for now, beef is not a regular part of your diet and it's something you want no parts of. Also, now that you're getting old enough, you'll probably be getting invited on hunts with the pride. But slow your roll, Simba. First, you'll start off watching from a safe distance. At Talk about me? Talk about me? Talk about me? Little, little old me? Little me. At about 15 to 16 months, you should be able to participate. But hunting ain't without its risks, so here's even more tips. Tip one, stick to your weight class. Build your confidence by going for smaller, weaker prey, no EDP. Tip two, oh. learn from watching. Learning how to hunt ain't a one and done thing, and I can show you a graveyard full of cubs that thought otherwise. Tip three, it's better to be late than early. You're probably gonna be super excited for your first hunt. It'll have you laying out your clothes on the bed the night before. <laughs> But the worst thing you can do is break formation early. Not only does it ruin the hunt and send everybody home hungry, you can go from full-time standing oh to part-time. That's not real, right? That little nigga got yeeted. Not only does it ruin the hunt and send everybody home hungry, you can go from full-time standing Bruh. to part-time in the Air Force. As you get older, you'll start exploring the boundaries of your family's territory, but just keep in mind that terrain can be just as dangerous. Trees are a good time, but keep in mind, as a lion, you're not a natural tree climber. 
It's not that you can't get up there, it's the getting down part that lions struggle with, and the bigger and heavier you are, the higher your chances of falling and dislocating something. Some cubs wait until they get stuck in a tree to find out. Don't be that guy. Jesus. Also, as a lion, don't cross a river unless you have absolutely no other choice. It's not because you can't swim, but because of what you might be sharing the water with. And if you <laughs> think you can outswim a hippo, joke's on you. They don't even swim. They full send sprint underwater. Yep. But all that aside, this is actually the safest time in your Jesus. life because at the end of the day, at least Jesus. you still have the pride to fall back on. Enjoy it because the hardest road is still in front of you. God damn. This is intense. There comes a day in every future Lion King's life that'll absolutely break your heart. The day you get evicted from your pride. There's new cubs to feed, and there's just not enough to go around for you to stay home. Plus, staying would mean double dipping your DNA the royal way. So one day you'll wake up and you'll no longer be welcome. At this point, you're two to three years old with all the tools to survive. But it'll be the first time you've ever been alone in a world that preys on the weak and isolated. It's a rite of passage every male must go through, Damn. and I'm here to help you through it. First, prepare to walk a lot. Male lions starting out can travel hundreds of kilometers away from their birth pride looking for their own place. And as a bachelor Damn. with no land, the only place you can live is on the outskirts or the dead space between established territories. That's cause trespassing's a crime punishable by soul divorce. And you might look like a legal adult, but there ain't enough hair on your mane to square up with a property owner. Yet. To avoid confrontation, pro tip, learn to listen to the sound of roaring in the distance. Roaring is how prides mark their territory, and as a newbie, you'll learn to walk in the opposite direction of it. But rival Leos ain't your only worry. You're not the only predator on the plains, and knowing how you match up with the others is essential. But lucky for you, Jesus. I brought the perfect guest to talk to you about just that. So, now that you've leveled up- I love he's such a, such a fucking collab. He's, you heard the song, you heard the music start in the background, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. Lucky for you, I brought the perfect guest to talk to you about just that. So, now that you've leveled up and unlocked the nomadic quest line, it's important to understand how the lion build matches up against all the other predator builds in the African meta. Knowing the limits of your abilities is crucial in this game stage. Most important of which is to bear in mind that the lion's bite force is actually one of the weakest among hypercarnivorous apex predators. This means lions need to rely on critical hits to score kills. Damn, that, match that is a. Look, look. This means. This is look, look, look. Watch out! Watch out! Lions need watch to rely out, on out, critical hits to score. Literally, that is a wrestling move. Fuck. Score kills, meaning that matchup knowledge is super important. While there's very little that can threaten an entire pride of lions, now that you've struck out on your own, you'll need to be a bit more careful with which fights you engage with. Lions have extremely dominant matchups against some builds, but will struggle in others. Let's delve into the lion's Damn. matchup chart. Cheetahs are extremely fast and not worth expending the energy to chase down. However, they're of basically zero threat to you in combat, as they have dull, non-retractable claws and a weak bite. In fact, they're so frail that they'll rarely put up a fight defending their own kills. Damn. This is a highly exploitable weakness that you can use to score free XP. They're most active in the mornings and evenings, so be on the lookout for them to see if you can spot an easy mark. Leopards are the largest felid predator in the African server, other than your fellow lion players. However, because they're solitary and slightly weaker than a lion, it's unlikely that they'd ever challenge you to a fight. They're better climbers than lions and will usually drag their kills up a tree to make them harder to steal. But if the opportunity Damn. arises. Bro, that, <laughs> that fucking. <laughs> that lion was up there trying to get that shit. Bro, look. Will usually drag their kills. That nigga is not. <laughs> you are not opium. You're not built for that. Like, you can get up there, but look at how messy you up there. He was up there nice and calm and chilling. Up a tree to make now them harder to steal. Now you don't fuck the whole tree up for the whole. <laughs> If the opportunity Bruh. arises, they can still be worth bullying. Baboons are perhaps one of the most GG, often easy. underestimated builds in the African meta. They're surprisingly powerful, with wicked canine teeth and a bite force nearly as strong as a lion's. Individually, they don't really have enough HP to be able to outlast a lion in a fight, but baboons just about always roll in large groups, so damn, it can be quite damn, dangerous damn, engaging damn, in battle with damn, any of them. Damn. In addition to Let him get up! Let him get up. They was jumping at in me. Large groups. So it can Damn. be quite dangerous engaging in battle with any of them. Damn. In addition to being dangerous in and of themselves, baboons can be an absolutely massive problem for any predator player looking to score a meal. They will alert herbivore players to your presence, thwarting any hunting attempt they witness. That is, unless you can make the baboons your allies instead. Herbivore what? players trust baboons for their vigilance, 
but if you can cut a deal with them, they may deliberately fail to sound the alarm, so long as they have assurance that they won't be the ones attacked. Better for them if the local apex predators have full bellies. Hyenas are another example of a build lions can easily handle one-on-one, -on -one, but because hyenas also tend to form large packs, a lone lion needs to be really careful when trying to steal a kill. In fact, it's not uncommon for hyenas to steal a kill from a lone lion. Hyenas have extremely powerful jaws that can inflict serious bleed damage, so lions can't risk tanking too many attacks from a pack of hyenas. Damn. Now that we've gone over matchups, let's talk about how to get the F word you've probably been waiting for. Food. Oh, oh you thought I meant- yeah, hit the brakes, young bull. Priorities. Food is the most important resource as a nomad, and knowing how to get it without also getting slapstick to death is vital. A misconception is that male lions don't hunt. You can, and you're just as good as the girls, you just gotta know your game. Your big frame and poor stamina means you are strictly an ambush hunter. This strat's pretty simple. Stalk your quarry from tall, dense shrubs until you're close enough to close the gap, then use your brute strength to overpower them, and then, congrats, you have just made a kill. You'll nice. want to build your confidence with low risks like Gazelle or Kudu. If you want pork products, try Warthogs, because ain't no Hakuna Matata when you can be dead in the manana. <laughs> Soon you'll graduate to zebras or young hippos. Eventually, you'll have all the tools to take down a buffalo, and I'm gonna just say this right now. A huge part of your success as a lion depends on your ability to murk a thousand pounds of meat and muscle. A steady diet of buffalo can take you from a scrawny underling to an absolute mother f***ing Jesus fuck. Imagine going from- Diet of buffalo can take you from a scrawny underling from this? to an get good fucking lord absolute mother fucking unit the mother fucking is silent there was a pride of lions just like you in the okavango delta that were buffalo specialists and uh yeah call them rose from titanic cuz damn look at how that nigga is yo yo that nigga not he just trying to mind his business bro oh my god hey do you know 44% of y'all aren't subscribed? Go ahead and hit that button. And also go check out my gaming channel where I upload things like Spider-Man gameplay, Fortnite, Modern Warfare, older games, newer games, anything I can get my hands on, I'll play it. Go check it out. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, man. They got jacked. Bulking on buffalo is like Mario downing a mushroom, and the sooner you can add a walking meat locker to your meal prep, the better. Just make sure you don't get caught lacking, or you're going to find yourself lacking a will to live. Because you're an ambush. He said, "What? Come down, little Just bro." Just make sure you don't get caught lacking, or you're gonna find yourself lacking a will. This is this is says, "Come down, little bro. We not gonna jump you." <laughs> to live. Because you're an ambush hunter, you're gonna want to find an area with a lot of vegetation and avoid open areas with no cover. You're also gonna have the best results hunting in the dark, thanks to your absolutely broken night vision. Also, going all out in the dead heat can cause your systems to factory reset. Cause the main might be a flex, but it's not a fan. But also remember, hunting's hard, and you can expect a success rate of about 15% when you're first starting. And up to like 20 or once you have experience. Damn! Got fucking cooked. You expect a success rate of about 15% when God damn, that has he is good. Get fucking. But it's not a fan. But also remember, hunting. Look, that nigga said, got him. Hard. Look, you look, can expect hold on, slow it down. Expect a success rate of about 50. Look, look. 15%. Look. Try, this looks like you're, try, you're trying to stop so hard. That nigga said, ah, got damn, him. Not, damn, gone. Just like, golly. Damn. We're starting and up to like 20 or three once you have experience. Anything just under 40% basically makes you the Steph Curry of carnivores. So you're gonna have to get your attempts up. Shoot or shoot. Anyway. But there's another easy way to make a living. Criminal activity, specifically stealing. There's no court in the wild, and up to 12% of your diet can be stolen from other predators, and that number can rise to nearly 50 in some places. Two line life hacks for making a steal. Number one, watch out for vultures in the sky descending, as that can indicate a fresh kill. And number two, listen to the sound of hyenas arguing. It's usually over food, and despite what you've probably been taught in lion school, you steal more from them than they pinch food from you. Really? Also, African wild dogs have the highest hunting success rate of any predator out here. But to you, they're also glorified greyhounds, and any kill they make is free real estate. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, this will likely be the worst time of your life. You're alone, always hungry, and there's always a chance a bigger lion comes in and turns you into a rug. Unless you're able to convince males from your pride, brothers, half-brothers, cousins, whoever, to join you so you can form a coalition. 
These group of guys are going to be the most important relationships you ever make. In real talk, y'all don't even have to be related. As a group, you instantly go from struggling solitary predator to a perpetual powerhouse. Mm. It's like Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman on the same team, except now it's the Bulls that get spanked. Mm. These are important bonds that can last your entire life. <laughs> There's no better way to let your brother know you appreciate him than with a good old friendly forehead rubbing. Aw, y'all are adorable. Your coalition can have three, four, hell, up to six members on the Damn, team. Damn, hold anything's on. Oh, we like that. We like that. That's a, that's a motherfucking, that's a power team. That's a... Jeez. Possible. The Mapoho Coalition was a squad of six that flexed over 260 square miles of territory, murked over a hundred lions in their time, and likely got it on more than Genghis Khan. The Mapohos are a story for another time, but you don't need a team of six. Sometimes all you really need is just one ride or die. And after a couple years of learning and growing together, now we can get to the fun part. At this point, you're seasoned by life at the ripe old age of five. And once your mane's thick enough and your balls swing low enough, you <gasps> and your mans can take on another top male in a fight for the right to his territory. You can either run his fade directly or arrive and post up in his territory waiting for smoke like Thanos. The battle is brutal and bloody, and if you lose, it's back to square one with a couple of scars to take with you. But if you win, you've just earned your first territory and all the lioness is in it. First thing on the agenda is to drain the gene pool by life retiring any cubs. <laughs> and if you think that's OD, just remember, it easily could have been you. And even though you're part of a coalition, it's a dominant male that gets the most opportunities to mate. And since lions can get it on hundreds of times a day, prepare to lay more pipe than a plumber. But since no one man can handle that much lionessy, oh even if you're second or third in command, rest assured, you will get your chance. Before you know it, you'll have cubs of your own, and congrats, you have officially become a lion king. Wear your mane with pride. You've earned it. And remember, the darker the mane, the more attractive you are. It seems all good, but now you got responsibilities. As king, your job is to protect your family and territory, Hundreds and usually that means patrolling crazy. the area and leaving your mark. But once in a while, it'll mean letting your paws fly. It's also on you to protect your Damn! food supply. Boy, imagine being in that motherfucking car. I would have been straight shitting. I would have been dookieing right in the back seat. But once in a while, it'll look. mean letting your paws fly. It's look, look. Also on. He was trying to kill him, and I'm in the way of that. In, in some form. Oh, yeah. You to protect your food supply. Lionesses can lose up to 20% of kills to hyenas and an additional 17% to scavenging males. So don't be shy to lay down the law. Speaking of hunting, you'll really only be a factor less than 5% of the time. And by then, your main role will be the subduer or the play finisher, the one that comes in to outmuscle large prey. Here's how to boost your pride's hunting stats. Always make sure to leave an area after a successful hunt to give the survivors time to let their guard down. And yeah, that is something lions actually do. Thunderstorms are the best possible time to strike since your prey will have virtually no way of seeing you coming. For the same reason, full moons are the worst for catching prey off guard, so you might as well have everyone take that night off. Sleep well, because it's something you'll do Ooh, for up to 20 no. hours a day, sometimes 24 after a Damn. big meal. Rest easy, because one day you'll need it. Every empire comes to an end, and one day the sun will set on yours too. What they don't tell you is where lionesses have a life expectancy of 15, 16 years, males only really get 8 to 10. What they don't tell you is very few lions die of old age, and it is never peaceful. And whether it's in a bad hunting accident, or you finally losing a fight and therefore your pride, or even that same pride turning on you, yeah. one day you'll join all the great kings of the past in the stars. It's a tough pill to swallow, but nothing worth having is easy to keep. Damn. One day your reign will end, but for now, you sit at the throne. The throne of the Lion King. That's tough, dog. That was a nice little... Hey, guys, thank you so I much like for... That. I like that. I like that. It made it like a story. It made it like something... You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I'll fuck with the, the, the idea of the video, storytelling. I definitely kind of... took a lot of pride in this one, and I, re I, re I swear that wasn't a pun. You probably already know that I have a book out, but I'm also selling calendars, where each day is a way an animal can have you kissing dirt indefinitely. It'll be in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, drink water, hug your loved. Huge shout out to Tearzoo for being in this video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. In the next one. I see. Dark. We need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. Damn, that nigga got a... Ooh. <laughs> oh. 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 W video. Great video.
Great video, great video.